In this video, we'll learn to calculate money in pence. So we'll calculate how much different items all together cost, writing the amount in pence using the correct money notation. So I've got three items, just like the ones that you'd find in a shop. Baked beans, which cost 43 pence, a ruler, costing 35 pence and sticky tape 16 pence. I want to find out how much these two will cost. So we've got 43 pence and 35 pence. Now the method I'll use here is by adding 40 and 31st, which makes 70, and 3 and 5, which makes 8. So you could do this in your head as well. 70 and 8 gives me 78 pence. I need to write what it is. Is it pence? Is it pounds? So I've got to write the unit there. Now, I will work out how much a ruler and sticky tape cost. So we've got 35 and 16 equals 30 and 10 gives me 40. 5 and 6 gives me 11. So 40 and 10 first gives me 50 and the one 51. Or 40 and 11 gives me 51. And what is that 51? Is pence. And finally, I'll try and add these all together. So I'll find the cost of all of the three items together. So we've got 43 pence and 35 pence. Now we work these out together here. So we've got these two costing 78 pence. And what is left is the 16. So if I add 16 to that, 70 and 10 is 80. 8 and 6 is 14. So 80 and 10, 90. And the 4, 94. So that is 94 pence all together. Now, I want to take this one step further and show you how we'd write 78 pence using a pound in front, pound sign in front. So the way we write that is 0 0.78. So there are, that zero there means that there are no whole pound coins and we've got 78 pence. 51 would be written as 0 0.51. I don't need a pence sign in there at the end now because I've got a pound sign in front, which tells us that there are no pound coins and that decimal point separates the pounds from the pennies so we know that the rest is pennies. So that is 51 pence and this one would be written as 0 0.94 so this is how we calculate money in pence but we also looked at how to write them with money notation pence and pounds